Alrighty friends, this is Ben from Spittin' Tracks Pheasantry reporting from California. It is officially 25 degrees Fahrenheit. It is freezing. Here in California, we're not used to this. Southern California got some rain. It's pretty sad guys. I don't know how we're gonna make it. Please pray for us. Hey friends, welcome back to Spittin' Tracks Pheasantry. I am Ben, in case you are new here and don't know me. Hello, nice to meet you. Anyways, um, as you can tell from the background here, we got a little snow last night. Yeah, buddy. It's a whiteout. Well, to us it's a whiteout. I mean, it ain't much, but it's freezing. Anyways, guys, today we are going to tackle the game hen situation. Now, remember the game hens that we just got? Well, uh, we quarantined those out front away from all the other birds for a week, week and a half, something like that. And then I moved them back here with all the other birds in a pen for another week. So um, that way they can get used to this being their home. And um, well, today we're going to release them. Now, I know there's snow out here and, you know, I'm not really going to like just kick them out of their dry pen into the snow. I'm just going to simply open the door. You know, and that pen that they're in, all the other birds go in there to eat and stuff and stay dry. So yeah, we're going to tackle that situation and uh, we'll see how that goes. But first, guys, let's make a round and uh, check on all the birds and make sure they're okay. Now, I'm sure they're okay. We didn't get that much snow, but you know, you got to make the rounds anyway, right? My lovely swin hose, can't hardly see you. All this snow and ice that's on your welded wire here. You guys see their pen? Oh, they're nice and tidy dry. See, it looks a lot different in there than it does out here. Right. These windows are gonna start laying soon. I can feel it. Now, the ground is a little wet in there from this snow runoff or from the previous rain. And we're not short of moisture, that's, that's for sure. My Lady Amherst. Little sweet little hen. How you doing little mamas? You okay? She don't like it. She don't like this snow. George, what do you think of snow? Huh? You're used to that uh, valley warm weather, huh? You're not used to this snow. Yeah, he's complaining about it. There's a track of ponds over here. And they're snowflake buddies you guys see in the back there I put another tree back there yeah these quail and the tragopons all pheasants pretty much and quail they like those trees put in a the corner there so they go and hide in them and hang out and feel safe the new pin right here I'm still waiting on a uh, roof panels that set me back a whole bunch that's another video all together though there's Ollie fighting the forces of darkness again. Please, yellow goldens, everybody's good. Anyways, guys, let's get over there to those game hands and uh, open the door and kind of not shoo them out, but let them know that they can run free. They're probably ain't gonna go far because the snow's on the ground right outside the door. But uh, Kevin, Thelma, and Louise, they would appreciate that pin back. So uh, we gotta make things work for everyone, not just for the game hens. Anyways, guys, let's go do it. Okay, there they are. Now, after observing them for a while in their locked up situation, I noticed that they are healthy and uh, free of any disease that I can see. So I feel pretty confident that they'll be okay, not get the other birds sick. So, 
I need to get in there and clean that pin. It's my life story, just cleaning pins all the time. Clean one set of pins and then you got the other set. No, that's life. I love it though. Yeah, you can see in here in the quarters. Now this is one of my older pins as well. But these birds like to go in here and like are my free rangers. They'll go in here and they'll eat and get out of the elements. Even though we have other outbuildings, you know, but they like this one out here. I guess it's because it's closer to the other birds, the other pheasantry birds. So anyways, there they are. There's the girls. You guys can uh you guys can get out of here if you want. Kevin, Thelma, and Louise, see them back there? Yeah, they want their pin back. Come on, girls. Come out and play. Well, they are officially free-ranged hens. Yeah, mamas. I don't know if you've been used to this. But you are free. Roam the property. Tear stuff up. Play in the snow. Yeah, they're just scoping things out right now. I know if these aren't ideal conditions for you girls to go play and explore and have a good time. Oh, <laughs> I don't think these birds have ever saw snow. We got these from the valley, so it ain't snowing down there. And also guys, if you plan on free raging birds and you have them quarantined up, I mean, this pin right here, there's no, they can see all around, 360 degree visibility. So all the birds that are free will get used to them. They'll meet each other and they'll meet each other with the wire. That way when you release them, it's not such a, a big surprise. You see that? Ollie's excited about it, my dog. Can you guys hear? Yeah, girls. You are free. See, even the game has are kind of used to my cat. I always said I'm not a cat person, but I love our cats. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Hey, bear. See, all the animals that we have around here, guys, they all, they're all used to each other. They all get along. There's no squabbling. And if there is, they work it out pretty quickly. But, I mean, we had a few incidences in the past where we had to get rid of some birds. Free, free rangers, that is. Because it just didn't work out. But for the most part, all the birds, you know, they get along pretty good. There was one time when, uh, in the brooder, we had a little baby pheasant get out. And, uh, yeah, fixed that. They dug a hole underneath it. But anyways, got home from the store and uh, just noticed our cat staring at this baby pheasant on the lawn. And they didn't need it. I mean, I'm surprised, you know. Um, I don't know if it would have lasted that long, but... What I'm trying to say is our cats know the deal with our birds. They know they're, you know, off limits. And they were raised with them, so that worked too. Hey, Kevin. Snow sucks, huh? Some people like this stuff, you know. But then some people don't have to be out in it either. Delma, Louise, you guys have your pin back. Oh, there's the hen right there. There she is. Our buttermilk hen. 
And then we got a wheat and hen. And the other one, that's what they would refer to as like a partridge color hen. All right, Kevin. Got your feed, buddy. Gosh. The elements sure do take a toll on that tail, don't they? All right. Dama, you got your feed, babe. All right. You are, Kevin. You have your pin back, buddy. You see the peafowl know the deal. Yeah, during the winter, I feed them in this pen right here. Now, I said I wouldn't kick the other game hens out, and I didn't, you know, necessarily kick them out because they have the free wheel to go right back in the pen. See, I leave the door open. So they're not booted out. Where are they, by the way? Wouldn't that be a trip if they just split on me and flew away? I'll still post the video, even my failures. <laughs> Anyways, they didn't go anywhere. There's one. Oh yeah, and there's the other two. Just going about their business. Happy, happy little mamas. Hey girls. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool being free. Yeah. I like that buttermilk coloration on hands, guys. I think it's beautiful. See that hand right there? That little partridge color one? She's uh, she's smaller than the other two. I wonder if she has some bantam blood in her. Yeah, that she's really young. She don't look really young. I don't know. I suspect. I suspect something. Something fishy about her. Good looking game hen, but I don't know. Maybe I'm totally wrong. But there they are, guys. Free at last. And they're already checking things out. Healthy mamas. And then you see the pea fell in there. They got up in their pan already. Just feel better for everyone to have that pen open. Because even though, like I said, we got the outbuildings where they can go. They prefer to be back here with my dog and the pheasants. You get them, Ollie. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna sign off on this one. Thanks again for bird tripping with me. This is your boy Ben from Spit and Tracks Pheasantry. Thanking y'all for joining me. And just to remind you, I post a couple videos a week, of uh, the full videos, and shorts I post those all the time. Have a little bit more fun with those. You know, some funny, some serious, some inspirational, motivational, whatever you want. Anyways guys, yeah. So, uh, and also, you have to hit that like and subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on all the new things I got going on here. And um, all the little projects I got going on here, I'll keep you guys updated. But hit that subscribe button and uh, you guys stay tuned. Don't miss out, okay? I'll see you next time. Bye.